Right, I'm sure if you watch my channel, well, I ain't seen you, you guys for a while, have I? I've been, uh, been super busy with work and training and stuff like that, so, yeah, beard's gone, and uh, hair's gone, and no, no, no. <laughs> Anyway, right, so, um, yeah, uh, I watched a video from, uh, bloody hell, John, uh, JGR Survival. I always want to call him by his old name. Anyway, JGR Survival, he made a old English cribbit trap, or he might not have called it that, he called, I think he called it a pheasant trap, but, uh, he had a video called Old English Crew Trap. He probably still got it about seven year old, like one at Fistons. So yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, and I once used that trap and got caught on a gamekeeper's land. Now this right. is the story about it. So now to I'm start the story, to photos so you don't have I will to probably for ten or eleven, so, something yeah, like that. It was that probably Septemberish time because I remember so it's still being pretty warm, like, but the right, pheasants were ready for uh, story, uh, shoot. Now the, the, this land where I was doing it, the trapping, and got caught on a, a shoot close to me home. Uh, I think it was an old, quite a big shoot back in the day, but it had been took over by a syndicate or something, I don't know, anyway. Sorry, I'm just pushing my way through bushes. Right, so, it was a sin little syndicate shoot, and they had, I think, three pens, some of that, and birds were all ready. They had, they, they weren't really feeding them in woods. They, they looked fully grown to me, but they weren't feeding them front feeders, really, although feeders were being topped up. They were, I think they were being a bit lazy, there weren't many people doing it, so they were just piling it on this dirt track. Now, obviously that attracts a lot of other critters. And as I'd walk through, I used to see jays. Now, jays are pretty common, but they are very, at least in my area anyway, they are very, very uh, wary of people. And they will not go near uh, people. As soon as I see you, they'll mission away. Like Not like magpies, if, like... Wilder magpies, not the ones you see like in um, housing estates and that. The, the wilder ones you see in woods and that. They'll see you and they'll fly off, but they're clever enough to know when they're out of sight, out of range type thing. But uh, the J is any sign of people or out that, that they're off. And they're such a beautiful bird. Now, I wanted one as a pet, and I don't really know what my plans were, but because this is quite a long time ago now, but anyway, I'll tell you what happened. So, I made an old English cribbit trap, but I didn't make it out of, uh, do you know, uh, wood and that. I just used uh, mesh and, uh, I think, some little branches to make it. And I'll show you a trigger mechanism that I made it with another time on. I'll make an actual trap video, because it's quite a good little trigger mechanism. There's two ways of doing it. Another way with mouse trap. <laughs> I love my mouse trap triggers. Anyway... So yeah, there was this dirt track in the middle of the shoot. Now, the dirt track were kind of off, out of bounds. You weren't supposed to walk that way because that, that, there were public footpaths through a lot of the shoot, but that were a way you weren't supposed to go. It was kind of a shortcut, but that you you weren't in trouble for walking past really unless you were messing with stuff. So I, I'd go there on my own and I'd, I'd, I'd see jays and I'm like, oh, that's exciting because I don't see them very often. Well, I, I see them more now, but back then I didn't see very many of them, and I loved them. Beautiful birds. I, I love corvids, but they are absolute terrors, <laughs> things they do to other birds. So anyway, uh, I made the trap, old English crew trap style, but with wire mesh, and I set it out of sight from the um, main feeding area, but just enough to get them. And I wasn't aiming at the pheasants. I think this is where the confusion came from. The initial confusion and uh, anger, uh, and I trapped. I think I got a hen and a cock, and then I got my jay, and I took it home. Uh, I put it in rabbit hutch because rabbit had just died, and then next day I set up, I'd, I'd set trap again. And all pheasants were released without arm, by the way. They were they, they were not up with them, uh, and uh, so I, I've got one jay in. Um, rabbit hutch and I went because I wanted the pair I think my plan were although it sounds a bit daft and cruel looking back but my plan were to get two because I'm, I'm pretty sure they were a pair to get two uh, pair them up get the chick let the adults go and keep the chick as a pair uh, but I, the next day when I came I must have been getting a bit cocky and doing it like <laughs> without with people seeing me do it and um, so 
Yeah, I heard a, a big truck, a Mitsubishi, is it, what's it called? Do you know the Mitsubishi pickup? I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, I heard one of them rolling past and I was just sat in bushes and uh, I just took trap down because they were not in it that day and then just left it behind bushes, uh, behind these bushes, a little wall. And uh, yeah, I left that there and I started walking over at uh, Sheep Field, which is way I wouldn't usually walk back because I, I knew he were in car and he couldn't get to me, couldn't get onto Sheep Field in car. So anyway, he, I, he was following me all along Sheep Field. I went middle of Sheep Field, he was going along the road. And as I got to the road, like he stopped me, grabbed hold of me, <laughs> this gamekeeper, and goes, What are you doing? Bloody hell, fucking poaching on me land. I was like, Oh, I'm sorry. Like, and I, I didn't know what to say, I just knew not to say old. So I wouldn't say no. And he was like, he was like Well, what are you going to do? And then, like, uh, he, he was really, really angry because like, he thought I was poaching. I said, I'm not after pheasants. He goes, you are, I know you are, I know you are, I know you're after pheasants. And I'm like, I promise you, I'm not after pheasants. He goes, well, what are you doing then? So I told him what I was doing, I was after that J. And he said, well, you can't be doing that. And there's enough sport here for us all. Anyway, so I ended up not getting in any trouble. And he said I could take another J. But I'd, I couldn't trap them like that, I had to shoot them. So, but uh, I never got around to doing that anyway, I think... I sorted it all out, I did a couple of days beating for him and uh, yeah, that, that's basically the story I did a couple of days beating, smoothed everything over and I wish I'd have kept on going really, quite fun doing beating but yeah, that's me, a uh, little caught poaching story kind of, well you know what I mean, right? Cheers lads, thanks a lot, bye Right, just listening to that audio that I've recorded, um, and obviously it goes without saying, but I don't condone anything that I did, and I don't condone anyone else using it unless it's a survival situation. There's a lot of squirrels about on the ground today. I wish I brought dogs with me. But anyway, yeah, so yeah, don't, I don't condone what I did at all. It's not good, it's illegal, and you can get in a lot of trouble for it. But I was young and I didn't know what rules, and yeah, it's probably a bit cruel as well. Right, so cheers, thanks for watching.